Check out my business website too. Last year, Microsoft announced the button functionality for Office Scripts for Excel Online. Around a year after that, they announced button functionality for Excel Desktop. So let's examine this in this demo today. So here we are with the Excel Online file open. The code editor pane is open uh, with a script called now date. So let's now create the button. It creates a button with the name of the script. We can move it as we would uh, normally with shapes. We right click get the handles and then we can use the left mouse button to move the shape. We're going to clear the value in cell B3 and then we're going to run the script. It's writing to cell B3. So that worked. So let's now transfer the online file to desktop. So we're going to download a copy and we're going to open from the prompt directly. We're going to test the script button in desktop. Now I have protected view enabled in my desktop which means that for newly downloaded files from the internet uh, I'll get an error like this. I simply click OK and then re-attempt the download and it will then ask me for uh, do I wish to enable content. So let's do that. Excel's opening again. And the enable editing button does appear this time. So as you can see, we have Excel open with the script button appearing. First of all, we're going to delete the value in cell B3 and attempt to run the script. We use the left mouse button and the script pane status opens. Now this is the first time I've run Office of scripts in Excel desktop uh, today since uh, opening Windows and the script is actually an add-in within desktop. Uh, it's using the web view to control. So what it's doing is initializing the add-in for first time running. And that does take up to about a minute on my machine. But then from then on, when you do run the script, it's done immediately. There's no need to uh, go and fetch the uh, add-in or initialize or connect or start the web view to add-in. And so we have the script running that's worked fine from Excel desktop. Let's clear the value. Let's rerun the script to prove the point and see how long it takes. There we go, almost an instant reaction there to the script. So let's examine further this desktop functionality for scripts. Um, now I click the name of the script there and the code editor is opened and previously we weren't able to edit scripts but let's see if there's any change with that so we're going to click edit and there's no message to say this is in read-only mode as there was previously now let's try and add some code getting the syntax right of course There we click save. So Excel desktop has allowed us to edit a script and save it. So now remember that script is located on 
my OneDrive, not in the desktop. So we're going to run the script, the newly edited script in Excel desktop. All we've done is click the button. We should see the appended text appear as we do in cell B3. So let's now try and run a script without a button. So let's move this out of the way. Go to Automate menu. Let's clear this value out of the way. Let's try this one, which does not have its own button. This uh, script writes the word hello, I think, in cell A2. So let's make sure there's nothing in cell A2. Let's run it. We clicked it. Code editor is opened. This is looking okay, promising. And then let's run the script. And it worked. Et voila. So let's go into the code editor. So we have an automate menu. Now that's new. And we can see that we have new script button available to us. So let's let's examine that. And then the code editor is opened with a new script. We're going to change the name. We're going to run it. It ran successfully. So let's add some code this time. Let's see if there's a console log available. And then let's run it. And it ran successfully and we can see the comment in the console log. So in this video, we have examined the button functionality, how to create a script and edit one using Excel desktop. There is at this time no record action button. Now that really would be a game changer if there were.